devastating airstrikes on Aleppo and the killing of civilians, which the international community is unable to stop. Numerous United Nations resolutions over the last five years have resulted either in Security Council vetoes or failure to act on agreements that something needs to be done. The French foreign minister says it's crucial all sides involved in the Syrian conflict work out a way to stop the killing of so many innocent people. I will take the initiative to bring together those who share the same vision for Syria's future in the coming hours and days. You can't stand there and wait for Aleppo to fall, because it is not only Aleppo at stake, it is all of Syria, the useful Syria, as they say. If negotiations fail, those who will be defeated will radicalize and join those we are fighting elsewhere, like ISIL and al-Nusra. He met former Prime Minister and now head of negotiations for the Syrian opposition, Riyad Hijab, in Doha. From Hijab's perspective, it's the Russians and Iranians fighting alongside Syrian government forces who are to blame for the killings. It's essential now to put economic, political, diplomatic and legal pressure on the Russian and the Iranians through the United Nations and the international community to stop this mad campaign against the Syrian people. The UN's envoy for Syria has met Foreign Minister Walid al-Mualam in Damascus. Stefan de Mistura proposed a UN-administered autonomous area for eastern Aleppo, where around 300,000 civilians are trapped by fighting. But Mualam rejected it. Let me say that the Russians condemn any violation of the national sovereignty of Syria, and Foreign Minister Lavrov said that. The Americans only want to contain ISIL and not put an end to this organization. The UN Security Council agreed on Thursday to extend an international inquiry into chemical weapons attacks in Syria for another year. The UN may consider sanctions after Syrian forces were found responsible for three chlorine gas attacks. Government leaders in Damascus deny the attacks. The latest Syrian military offensive is being condemned as horrific by many in the international community. It's at forums like this one the World Policy Conference, where many academics, diplomats and politicians get together to talk about how to stop the war. But it's the victims in Syria who most need international consensus to stop the fighting. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera, Doha.